Welcome one and all to a Train Love 16 video! Greetings everyone! Welcome back to my VHS reviews. Today we're reviewing... <laughs> Flipped over. <laughs> Teletubbies are own messes and muddles. Okay. Oh, sorry, there's a load of Lego on the floor from where I was filming Red Cliff Roy Tales. Uh. So, as many of you know, I had planned What's That at first, but I couldn't find a copy of it on eBay, so I had to settle for this one instead. So by now you should all know my thoughts on Teletubbies. Despite despite many people consider it creep considering it creepy and weird, I'm actually pretty nostalgic for it. And given its very low target audience, it's quite good. Maybe not so much in telling stories because let's face it, there are there aren't really any stories to be told in Teletubbies. In t but I've, as I've said, in terms of production value, it's pretty good. Yeah, my, yeah as, I've, as I've said before, it must have been given a pretty big budget for TV, considering everything they did with it. So, don't really think there's much more for me to say about the show, so here we've got the front cover, spine, and the back, landmark preschool program, enjoy. So this is all about anything messy and stuff like that. So released in 1998. One year after the show premiered, running time 56 minutes. Okay, guys, sit back, relax, go get some snacks and a drink if you want. This review is going to be about 55, uh, no, about 60 to 65 minutes in length. There's the tape. It's the back. Okay. In you go, and onto the tripod you go. Also, guys, I apologise if I'm not going to be if I don't talk quite a lot in um, in this review. I'll probably be spending most of this review working on Red Cliff Railway Tales at the same time. I've only seen a little bit of this tape earlier today, but from what I have seen of it, it some pretty weird stuff happens in it. Let me just say that. Oh, I thought that BBC logo was from the 2000s, not the late 90s. Oh, I don't know, maybe that was the logo from Come Outside. Turn it up to 25. Okay. Classic intro. Now, just excuse me, guys. I'm in there. Gonna work more on Red Cliff Railway Tales. Currently, I'm working on episode five. I'm behind. I haven't made as much progress as I hope to, as I have with previous episodes. But I should still finish the last two episodes in time. More like they come in my ass. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why I said that. Four. Four. Smacks golf club in the nuts. 
Listen. <laughs> Telly tummies. Fat televisions. Detail put into Teletubby Land. Even preschool shows had, had attention to detail put into them back in the 90s. Saudi Arabia. <laughs> I was gonna say hell, but that's too cliched for those things. <laughs> no, they, they haven't gone to Saudi Arabia, they've gone to Baghdad. <laughs> yeah, giant hairs. We can tell those flowers are, um, are fake, but they're still lovingly made. Oh. Starting sleeping. Oh, it's Mr. Sucky. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna. In fact, okay, that's what I'm gonna call Nunu from now on, Mr. Sucky. No, Mr. Blue Sucky. <laughs> Mr. Blue Sucky. Oh dear, what a mess. Oh, it's only bed sheets. <laughs> it was time for Tinky Winky and Dipsy to have Tubby Custard. <laughs> My bedroom is, is way, way messier than that. Tubby Custard, Tubby Custard. Fat Custard. <laughs> yeah, no wonder they're so fat if they eat so much Tubby Custard. Why does everything sound like farts? I've said before that the tummy custard wasn't actually custard. It wasn't actually pink custard. It was mashed potato with food colouring. I wonder how much they made. Just how many litres of it they made. For the... Thing. Oh god. Predictable. Today. Usually they don't make that much tummy custard. Are they high? Are they high today? Oh dear. What a mess. Uh -oh. Tell us something we don't know. I've said before, I've said this before, but for the longest time when I was a to have tubby toast. Interesting. Maybe if you ate more tubby toast instead of tubby custard, you you wouldn't you guys wouldn't be such such fat shits. Stop pressing the button. 
bottom, you'll break it. You'll break the goddamn machine if you keep pressing the button. <laughs> what did I tell you? I warn you! You're so dumb. And what were they snorting last night? <laughs> the tubby beds were in a mess. Is there something else? Is there something else the other than tubby custard and tubby co co toast that they do? And the tubby table was in a mess. <laughs> and so the Nunu tidied up. Mr. Sucky. Do they deliberately do that? Do they deliberately do that just to give their house cleaner work? If so, then the Tully Tubbies are actually total dickheads. If they if they just do that to, to give the new new work, which they don't even pay him for. Undervalued immigrant. <laughs> He's like an undervalued immigrant. <laughs> I'm sorry if that was a bit offensive, guys. There. All tidy. Yeah, all tidy! Why can't the Tully Tubbies just clean up themselves? You, you tidied up the Tubby Custard Machine. to work to work him to his to the bone. What's the giant has? 
think we've ever seen them up close before. Certainly not in detail, like where they live and stuff. I don't remember the, any of these scenes from the show when I was a when I was a toddler. shows have this much effort in terms of production value put into it as Teletubbies. got them meeting lots of the children thing. Fat televisions. Yeah, time for the children segments now. Between the actual children. dedicated to Poe, where she's the queen. It's called Poland. <laughs> oh dear. That, out of context, that, out of context, that sounds like, that sounds like they're gonna, 
jerk off. <laughs> or do... Or, or something else. <laughs> Imagine if that paint was white. <laughs> Evidence of evidence, evidence, police evidence is that for the murder. <laughs> oh my god. That's all these kids are in their, they all must be in their 20s or maybe even 30s by now. I wonder what, what all these kids are doing now. What? Or maybe some of them even have kids of their own. What? I wonder what they eventually ended up doing. I'm doing footprints. Did you dip your foot in cum? <laughs> before on the um, on the TV airings the the kids segments would be repeated a second time purely to pad out the running time oh god what now one day in Teletubby land something appeared from far away how do they even get how do those things even how do those things even appear into Teletubby land? And where do they come from and how do they get there? It's so many questions. Uh, ooh. Ooh. What's that? It's my testicle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yes, guys, that was necessary. <laughs> it's What's a, that? a giant testicle. It was a ball of string. <laughs> Rick was a giant. Oh, string. Tinky Winky pulled the string. <laughs> Tinky Winky pulled string. <laughs> pull string. Oh dear. <laughs> now I'm. Something I recently learned about Teletubbies is the original concept of it was actually derived from two from two spacemen who would explore the moon doing all sorts of things, and then when they were scared they'd hug each other. And then the, the designs of the Teletubbies costumes were inspired by were actually inspired by the Apollo by the by the space by the EVA spacesuits of the Apollo missions when the astronauts went out onto the moon. That's what their designs were inspired by, which I found quite surprising. Ow, la, la. <laughs> Winky Tinky showed Lala the string. Lala. Pardon? 
mark on T the string. Ting. <laughs> they sound like they're saying ting, which is um, which is an item from the Rayman game, certainly from Rayman One. Rayman. Say that. Dipsy trod on the string. Dipsy trod on the string. Why does it make string doesn't make that noise? Oh dear. Oh yeah, and the spacemen also often fall over. That idea translated into Teletubbies. It's surprising that Teletubbies actually has ties to the Apollo program. Come on. Can't we just go back and see what's causing it to get stuck? Isn't you not that stupid? <laughs> Tinky Winky and Lala didn't know why the string had stopped. No way. Then go back and see what's what's what caused it to get stuck, you idiot. <laughs> why didn't you oh my god why didn't you two think of that sooner and why do you have to hold the string you can just look at the ground and see where it where it led where it leads hi yi yi we're a nice countryside <laughs> Tinky Winky and Lala followed the string over the hills. <laughs> and far away. <laughs> yeah, I had to say that. Now you may hear some sounds coming from my computer and that's because I'm adding in the music for episode 5. So I so beg my pardon, so please excuse it. Why does it keep making that noise? Oh, 
Poe's scooter go? It just vanished into thin air. It's all covered in string. Stones or something. Time for Tubby Custard. Tubby Custard! Tubby Custard! Fat Custard. Oh, no, no mess today. Mr. Blue Sucky, clean it up, scrape it off, you lazy twat. Dipsy had nowhere to sit. Don't be, don't be ridiculous. All you gotta do is scrape that off. So Lala lets Dipsy sit on her tubby seat. Then <laughs> she's not gonna. Have... Oh yeah. Sit. Oh. 
why don't any of them think to clean the damn custard off? Oh, I mean, I, I mean, I know the Teletubbies aren't supposed to be that bright, but seriously? sit on his seat.
literally just now thought of thought of that thought of that outrage from Gordon Ramsay. Clean it, Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. <laughs> Lala had somewhere to sit. Somewhere to sit. <laughs> Why didn't you clean it yourself? You wasted so much damn time. <laughs> Ooh, Idiot. Were sitting down. <laughs> Idiots. All of that could be avoided if, if they had just cleaned it themselves. In the wrong places. So pointless. <laughs> Does it matter? So they all changed places. <laughs> Do you not? Now there's a. Now there's a, another. More kids who want to speak to you. Idiots. Wasted all our time and now they've got to talk to some more kids. Idiots. I know they're not that bright, but. They're absolute. Stupids. I don't want to say the R word.
You just said that. <laughs> what the hell? trying to sleep. <laughs> Sound like he's sound like he's on sleeping pills. A thinner, wispy one floated by. I know there's such a thing as fog, but... What? <laughs> Does that, is that cloud somehow sentient? <laughs> oh. What is this? Oh, I like how, um... I like how they, uh, they created an additional mist effect. Fog effect in the, um... In the back... In the, uh, in the background. Can you tell the attention to detail we've put into this show? A little bit of extra mist, like real mist. Tubby 
have to do exactly what the narrator says. Why can't they forge, make their own decisions and forge their own path? Tubby Tusted! Tusted? Why did he say Tusted? Usually they're able to say it correctly. before such a such a big um such a big complicated word for toddlers to say they probably and they probably don't know what it means i wouldn't have known what it meant at the age of two it's all around this what the hell Dips and spilled his custard. It came immediately here, but why did it come? Why didn't it come? Why didn't he come immediately before? Um, everything's done mostly with practical effects and CGI was only used in a show where it was absolutely necessary. I wonder how I wonder how Lulu was puppeteered. She can't have been I'm led, I think he's radio, uh, he may have been radio controlled, not sure. Sure, I don't think we've had the Magic House on the VHS on the Magic House event on the VHS reviews before. And I think this is the last thing before the end. Thank you. 
Boxen mit der Autobahn. Noises. What is that puppet? What is that puppet? Why is he singing? Why does he look What does he look like? And why is he singing so awfully? Okay, it's the end now. than I thought. This VHS wasn't as good as the previous two Teletubbies VHSs in my opinion. It was certainly very, very strange, but... It was certainly very, very strange. Not quite as good, but still enjoyed this VHS review. before rewinding. Oh, there's only 12 minutes of battery left. Uh. Oh, there wasn't that much extra tape at all. Right, hold on a sec, guys. The, hang on, let me get the remote.
Doesn't sound too good. Okay. Right, we gotta get rid of that extra bit of tape there. So back in, rewind. Okay, come on out. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that appears to be my to be to my liking. So, oh god, where's the, uh, where did I put the cover? <laughs> oh, I've never done this before. Here we are. In the, okay, back in and close. Ow, oh, shit, this is a little bit, um, oh, sorry guys, while trying to close the, um, while trying to close the, um, while trying to close the box, I accidentally stopped the recording. So, yeah. It's closed now, as awkward as it was. Oh, I think I've split it a little bit. Oh, dear. Either that or it was already like that, and that's why it was so awkward to close. So, yeah, guys, as I said, that's the end of this VHS review. So, is this VHS worth getting? Only if you're a big Teletubbies fan, I feel. If you're not a fan of Teletubbies, then this isn't really worth getting. But I can't really properly stop you from getting the VHSs you want. So if you want this VHS, go add it to your collection. But if you're not that big of a fan of Teletubbies, then this isn't a must-have. Get it if you want. I'm not going to stop you away. As I said, this was a little bit more fun than I thought it was going to be. Had a bit more to say than I thought, but this was certainly the weirdest one so far. And the, and the weakest of all the Teletubbies VHSs I've reviewed so far. But still, yeah, I still enjoyed it enough, though. As I said... As I said, guys, thanks again so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to Major Another 16 if you haven't already. Hope you're all looking forward to my upcoming, my further upcoming VHS reviews. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye, everyone!